tribal leaders gave Arizona Senator Kirsten Sinema a warm welcome. It came hours after she made the announcement of switching from being a Democrat to an independent. The meeting was for the Tribal Leaders Water Policy Council and the Colorado River Tribal Roundtable. Cinema sat down for a discussion on water infrastructure funding and its impact to tribes. There were federal officials there from Interior, uh, the Bureau of, of Reclamation, and I think she really made some pointed comments uh, about how she is very concerned that, that tribes, that Arizona gets the resources needed to see us through the drought. The news of her changing parties didn't seem to phase the leaders. I have no doubt in, in my mind that you know she'll continue to support tribes, not only in Arizona, but probably uh, all tribal issues in the United States. Will it have an impact and change the way you work with tribes and advocate on behalf of tribes? You know, as I said to folks across Arizona this morning, I've registered as independent because it comports with my values. So folks who've depended on me to be a voice for tribal sovereignty, for our partnership in solving water issues, and for all the challenges that Indian nations face across their country, they can depend on me to keep doing exactly that. Applause came when Cinema announced she's appointing the chairwoman of the Colorado River Indian Tribes to her Water Advisory Council. The Colorado River Indian Tribes has land in, uh, the reservation has land in Arizona and in California and where you have the highest priority water rights in, uh, uh, of the five uh, lower basin uh, uh, on the Colorado River. Tribal leaders say they are counting on the newly declared independent senator to continue to uphold tribal sovereignty. In Phoenix, Patty Tholohungva, ICT News.